there are many people around NFL circles that truly believe Tyler Smith is the best left guard in the NFL. And I agree with it. The guy is truly, truly special. He has generational upside. You know, the way the Cowboys found Tyron Smith, the guy that was the most dominant player over the last decade, some people believe Tyler Smith is that. People think Tyler Smith is basically Tyron Smith, but at left guard. And I 100% agree. I mean, the way this guy moves people, the way he's able to make contact with the guy and push him out of there and physically dominate him is special. It's different. This guy's the real deal. Very, very fired up to get in this film breakdown. Let's get right into it. You got another really, really nice block here by Tyler Smith. Uh, this time he's going to get under number 91, the three technique, and really help Tyron Smith overtake this guy. This one picks up about 12 yards, and it picks up 12 yards because of the double team block by Tyler Smith. The leverage he takes to get this guy and, and really lift him up so that Tyron Smith can overtake him is very, very impressive. Love it. Love that shoulder right into this guy. Both Tyler Smith and Tyron Smith really understand the aiming points together. They really understand one another. The chemistry is definitely there. And from there, Tyron Smith's able to overtake that guy. And a big part of why Tyron Smith's able to overtake that is because Tyler Smith pushes that guy out of the gap. And then Tyler Smith climbs up to the linebacker and he fully gets this guy out of there. I mean, this is such a nice block double to climb up to that inside linebacker. This is a special, special, special stuff. He moves two guys out of two different gaps at two different spots. Love the block right there by Tyler Smith. Let's get into the next snap. You got another one once again by Tyler Smith. He's going to double number 93 with Tyron Smith, and he's going to allow Tyron Smith overtake him. This is part of what makes Tyler Smith such a great zone blocker or when it comes to power and you're running those duo concepts this is what makes this guy such a great player it's the fact that he understands and has that chemistry with tyron smith he's able to get the hands into a guy and push him around he uses that strength and raw power that he had coming out of college of course he's able to climb and basically take on anyone it's just a really nice job this one picked up eight yards let's get into the next snap so the last two plays we looked at tyler smith was the guy that was making first contact and it was the left tackle, Tyron Smith, who was basically overtaking a guy. This time it's going to be different. Tyler Biadish is going to make first contact. And Tyler Smith has to be the guy to ultimately get over the top and seal off. And in this one, he's going to do a really, really nice job being able to reach on the nose tackle. Biadish does a good job making contact. And Tyler Smith uses the power to get around the guy and ultimately set himself up to stop this guy in his track. And this is another reason why I love this guy when it comes to his run blocking. Uh, this one here is an outside zone run, so the left guard has to reach the nose. That way the center can get released up to the next level. And this is as good as it's going to get by any offensive lineman out there. You know what's crazy with Tyler Smith is he's just 22 years old. And he's already physically dominating NFL players that have been in the league for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years. Guys that have made all pros or pro bowls. The guy's already dominating these type of people. And the guy's 22 years old. He's literally in his second season. So imagine when Tyler Smith ends up taking a thousand snaps truly as a left guard as opposed to a left tackle, which he played last season. How great can Tyler Smith ultimately become? All right, his run blocking is phenomenal. And I want to show you guys a couple more run blocking snaps. Before we switch over and get into some of his pass pro, uh, here's another one. Now on this one, the running back's actually going to bend it back towards the inside. But had he stuck with this and had he actually hit the outside lane, I think based off the block that Tyler Smith makes on this one the lane would have definitely been there now tyler smith has a reach block here on the three technique not an easy block by any means but the guy's a very very good football player and in this instance he's able to get over the top and look at him flip the hips you know when you watch tyler smith actually do this you may tell yourself this is easy this is normal but i'm here to tell you guys this is not easy and this is not normal tyler smith is arguably the best left guard in the nfl and it's because of plays like this right it's because he flashes continuously on running plays over and over and over again it doesn't matter who it is it could be aaron donald it could be jalen carter the guy dominates on tape this is part of why i really really like the upside with tyler smith you got another really nice block by tyler smith he's gonna pull and lead up through the gap make good contact with the linebacker and he sets this one up for tony pollard to hit it for 31 yards beautiful job once again by the left guard Love how he gets out of his stance. He stays low as he makes contact. And he makes sure that he gives his running back the lane. You know, he could have taken this guy head on, but he makes sure to flip the butt back so the running back actually has a gap. And it's a part of what makes Tyler Smith a very good offensive lineman. On this one right here, he picks up 31 yards. 
It's a really, really nice job. I want to go ahead and switch focus and get into some of his pass pro because Tyler Smith does a really nice job in pass protection as well. Uh, his big thing as a rookie was that the game was just a little fast for him, but you can tell the game's no longer fast for him and he is definitely caught up. One of the things he really excels in is being able to process kind of what's happening out in front of him. So on this one here, the slide is to the right. And you can see the Sanders boy basically going to be lined up against Dexter Lawrence. And you get the linebacker here who's going to come back around on the game. And look at how fast Tyler Smith processes it. And look at how he changes direction. He gets out in front of it and he shuts it down. And the linebacker doesn't even pass rush at that point. And there's a hundred snaps like this on tape. I'm going to show you guys a couple more of them. Here's a really, really nice one here. He has Jalen Carter in the three technique. And he's going to do a great job passing off Jalen Carter over to the left. And he's going to get back off of him and come back and pick up Fletcher Cox. It's a really nice job once again. The quarterback is able to complete the third and 14 for 20 yards. That's phenomenal right here by Tyler Smith. He is a little slow out of his stance. You can see it really in slow motion that he is the last one out of his stance. Not a big deal. I don't think this is a problem at all this season. In this instance, he's going to be able to get the hands to Jalen Carter and I think this is one of the battles that for a really, really long time we're going to see. Tyler Smith against Jalen Carter, two guys at the top of their game. And something tells me Tyler Smith's going to have a lot of winning reps against Carter. But in this one, he does a really nice job with the right hand to slow down Jalen Carter. He sticks in front of him and he makes sure to fully pass him off to the other offensive lineman there before he comes back around to Fletcher Cox, sets up in front of Cox, gets his hands on him and shuts him down as well. That's a really, really nice rep right there by Tyler Smith. Let's go ahead and get to the next snap. Now, one of the things we know with Tyler Smith is the guy has elite strength. He has elite power. And I think most people agree Jordan Davis is probably one of the strongest defensive tackles from a pure strength perspective. And look at Tyler Smith anchor down against him on this one. And I know the quarterback gets out of there, so the camera kind of goes away and had the quarterback sit in the pocket for another two or three seconds. It may be a little bit more noticeable, but you can still see it. Jordan Davis gets shut down by Tyler Smith. Again, the Eagles have two really good young defensive tackles in Jordan Davis and Jalen Carter. And you can see a ton of snaps in which Tyler Smith's able to win against these guys. All right? He's able to match the power. He's able to match the quickness, the strength, or whatever it may be that these guys have. And to me, this is as powerful of a rep as you're going to get. You really see the power, the elite flexibility in the hips as well, right, to really hold the block. It's a really, really nice job right there by Tyler Smith once again. Let's go ahead and get into the next snap. You got a really nice rep here once again by Smith. This time he's going up against Aaron Donald. And you're going to see the power once again. Right out of his stance and get his hands directly to Donald. And straight up shut his ass down. Fantastic rep. Love the quick set here by Tyler Smith. Throws the left hand punch right into Aaron Donald. And Donald has nowhere to go on this one. Now, Tyler Biotis still slide over that way, which makes sense. But Tyler Smith definitely had a great game against Aaron Donald. And he's been having a great game against a lot of the good defensive tackles he's played, right? He's been pretty much winning majority of the reps. And I like the fact that the Cowboys have left him at left guard. Because his potential at left guard is Hall of Fame, right? That's the type of caliber a player Tyler Smith is going to become. All right, you guys, check this play out here. Uh, watch Tyler Smith keep the head up. Watch him recognize the delayed blitz. And look at him and Tyron Smith pick up the two defensive linemen. That's a really nice job once again. Again, left guard's going to get out of his stance. He's going to process with the left tackle that there's two guys coming. The DN here, the linebacker here. And he just has to take whichever of the two goes to the inside. He quickly recognizes it and processes it. He takes on Jihad Ward and he shuts his ass down. It's a nice job right there once again to process and recognize by Tyler Smith. Check this one out. Tyler Smith's going to quick set the defensive lineman. He's going to go directly towards him. And I love how he's able to mirror the defensive lineman on this one. Really nice job making contact and then moving the feet and sticking with the defensive lineman. You know, when you lock in with these defensive linemen, they're going to try to throw you to the side. They're going to try to rip or they're going to try to push and pull. And in this sense, he's trying to pull Tyler Smith. And Smith does a really nice job keeping his balance and just staying out in front of this. And then with the hands, he's able to kind of reposition the body, reposition the feet, and just stay right in front of this defensive lineman. It's a really, really nice winning rep by Tyler Smith. Again, I could just go on and on and show you guys like 100 snaps where he's either reaching, he's beating a guy because he anchors down, or he's pancaking someone. I could show you guys 100 snaps of Tyler Smith doing his job. 
Because that is the type of caliber of player Tyler Smith is. He's strong. He's physical. He's elite as hell. The guy's going to become, in my opinion, one of the generational offensive linemen over the next 10 years. Like, he has that type of upside. This was a quick film breakdown that I just wanted to do with Tyler Smith. Kind of give credit where credit is due. I think the Cowboys got a really, really good offensive lineman. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time with another video.